to travel 440 km in 8 hours and they are asking two questions here. The first one is how long will it take to travel 385 kilometers and the second one is how far will it travel in six and a half hour so two are different questions here let's solve the first question so a bus is traveling 440 kilometers in eight hours and first what they are what they have given what they are asking how long will it travel to cover 385 kilometers so they are asking time here so what we're gonna do we're gonna find out that for one kilometer how many hours it is taking okay and then we're gonna find out for the 385 kilometer so we have to find out for the one kilometer so again with which number you have to divide or with which number you have to multiply let me just frame it here what they have given a bus travel 440 kilometer in eight hours means 440 kilometer is equal to eight hours now here we have to find out the one kilometer right once if i get one kilometer then i can find out for 385 kilometer i just multiply it so I want one right one kilometer I want so I'm going to transpose this 440 to the other side so one kilometer will be equal to 8 divided by 440 hours so this will be the for the one kilometer so in one kilometer the time taken will be 8 divided by 440 hours now I'm not going to cancel this I'm going to cancel this later so let me write down what is given here so they have given uh, bus travel 440 kilometer in 8 hours so how long it going to take for 380 uh, to travel 380 kilometers right so therefore time taken to travel 1 kilometer first we want to find out for 1 kilometer it will be equal to 8 divided by 440 hours i just explain you how we got for 1 kilometer now once we got for 1 kilometer we can find out for 380 385 kilometer so therefore time taken to travel 385 kilometer will be equal to you have to just multiply 385 by this is 5 by 8 by 440 hours that's it so you have to just cancel the numbers and then you have to get the answer so this will be equal to i'm going to cancel this in uh, 8 or you can cancel this in 4 table 4 twos are 8 and then 4 11s are 44 and then 0 we can cancel here uh, 110 and 385 11 table 11 tens are is 110 i want to cancel 385 11 table 3 so 11 threes are is 33 so 38 we have so 38 minus 33 if you do you get 5 as a remainder so that's a reminder i'm going to write down along with the other 5 so th that makes the number 55 so and 11 5 is 55 so i'll get here 35 if it's confusing you how i'm canceling you can do it in your own way or you can just divide the number now we have 35 and 10 i'm going to cancel 2 and 10 here 2 ones are and then 2 fives are 10 now cancel 5 and 35 5 ones are 5 sevens are 35 so this is equal to seven hours that's it then the next question the next one it's different than the first question what they're asking here how far will it travel in six and a half hour now here they're asking how much distance going to cover in this much hour so here we have to find out for one hour how many kilometers is traveling if we get for one hour we can find out for the six and a half hours same method how we did for the first one the same method so let us find out for the one hour and then we're going to find out for the six and a half hours so so uh, distance travel in one hour will be so distance traveled in one hour will be equal to now if it's confusing you let me write down here so 440 kilometer is equal to eight hours right here i want one hour so i don't want this eight i'm going to transpose eight to the other side so it will be 440 divide by 8 kilometer 
is equal to one hour. So in one hour, it is covering four forty divided by eight kilometers. Since we got for one hour, we wanna find out for the six and a half hours. So let me write down that. So distance travel in one hour will be equal to four forty divided by eight kilometer. Now six and a half is nothing but when you convert this in mixed fraction, it will be equal to thirteen by two hours. So six and a half will be equal to thirteen by two hours. It's same thing. So instead of writing six and a half, I'm gonna write down thirteen by two. So therefore, distance traveled in thirteen by Two hours will be equal to multiply thirteen by two multiplied by four forty upon eight kilometers. Okay, we are using again unitary method. I'm going to find out for the one value that is for one hour I have found, and then later I'm going to find out for the whatever the asking. So you have to just multiply these two. So cancel the numbers here. You can cancel here a two and a four forty. So two ones are. And then two twenty size four forty. The next we're gonna find out here for the uh, eight and two twenty. We're gonna cancel the numbers. So eight you can cancel directly in eight table. You can cancel in four table. So I'm gonna cancel this in four table. Four two is a eight. Four five is a twenty. Two is left. So and again four five is a twenty. So here I got thirteen multiplied by fifty five divided by two two. So thirteen multiplied by fifty five divided by two, you're gonna get the answer in decimal, or you can add on the answer in fraction itself. So this will be equal to seven hundred fifteen by two kilometer, or you want to write down this in decimal, it will be equal to three fifty seven point five kilometer. So the this question and the previous question which I have solved both are using the unitary method. I have taken different concepts here. Here I have taken the time and kilometer, the distance and the hours, so that it will be easy for you how to find out it.